Welcome to Health Beat. I'm Rosemary Hopkins. On today's edition, we'll demonstrate the latest techniques used by supermarket cashiers to help prevent on-the-job fatigue, muscle strain, and other more serious injuries. Your job as a cashier requires repetitive hand motions like bending, turning, and gripping. If these movements are done in the wrong position or too forcefully, it can lead to fatigue or repetitive strain. Research has shown that in order to reduce the incidence of on-the-job injuries, it is necessary to adjust the way we perform our jobs and even the equipment we use. This science, called ergonomics, is constantly being updated as we learn more about how to prevent these injuries. If unchecked, incorrect work habits at the front end can lead to CTD, cumulative trauma disorder, which affects the body's ability to work comfortably, and CTS, carpal tunnel syndrome, which is caused by repetitive improper wrist movement. In the field is our health beat reporter, Joan Alexander. Joan, what are you finding out there? Rosemary, I'm here at a local Grand Union store, and with me is Bob Doman, general manager. Bob, what are some of the major causes of cashier stress-related injuries? Well, Joan, some of the major causes are improper lifting techniques, like reaching over the counter to place a full bag of groceries in the customer's cart, or when improperly lifting bales of bags used to replenish front-end supply. Improper reaching, like stretching too far to reach for a product on the belt. Improper turning and twisting, like turning your body abruptly to begin bagging or twisting your wrists to locate the UPC on the products. These mistakes, when repeated over and over, can cause a cashier pain and discomfort and can lead to permanent injury. So Bob, what are some of the ways that cashiers can adjust their work habits to avoid these problems? Well, Joan, let's begin with hand and wrist problems. Cashiers can help prevent these by using safe wrist and hand positions while scanning and by trying to minimize the force and reduce repetitive motions. Your hands and wrists bend up and down and sideways. You should try and keep your wrist in a straight or neutral position as much as possible while checking out. This puts the least amount of strain on your muscles, tendons, and nerves. Your hands and fingers are used to grip and lift items. Using your whole hand, the power grip, instead of just your fingers, the pinch grip. This puts less force and strain on your hands and wrists. Holding your hands and wrists in awkward positions and applying too much force or gripping items improperly puts extra pressure on nerves, muscles, or tendons. You can't avoid repetition altogether. It's simply part of the job. However, you can take steps to minimize some of these repetitive motions and their effects. Bob, when actually scanning groceries, what are the key points to preventing problems? Joan, you should keep your hands and wrists in a neutral, unbent position whenever possible. Try not to extend, flex, or twist your wrists while scanning. Wait for items to come to you. Don't reach for them. Use the power grip, not the pinch grip, when handling items key in large items instead of scanning them. Drag rather than lift heavy items across the scanner. Learn where the UPC code is located on various products. Ask to see the rescue videotape to help you learn the UPC locations. Knowing where the UPCs are by heart will help to eliminate twisting and turning when trying to locate a code. If needed, Turn products while they are on the check stand to look for the UPC label, rather than lifting the item up from the counter and twisting and turning your wrist. Pick up and pass items from one hand to another to help alternate the use of your hands. Key in multiple purchases of a single item. This will save scanning motions. Release items that will roll or slide to the rear deck from the neutral shoulder position. This means keeping your shoulders in line with your waist as much as possible. Items that will not roll or slide should be moved to the rear deck two or three at a time after they've been checked. Turn and face the rear of the check stand when lifting or pushing items to the rear. This will minimize twisting. Keep the scanning plate clean. This reduces repeat scans. Very good, Bob. In the area of bagging, what's the latest info on how to bag so as to minimize cashier discomfort? Joan. Start by using the proper technique for filling your station with manageable quantities of bags. Bend at the knees when lifting and keep your back straight. Use the bagging platform. 
This reduces lifting your arms and shoulders up over the height of the bag. If you are ever required to retrieve bales of bags, be sure to utilize proper lifting techniques whenever loading and unloading them onto and off of U-boats and double-decker carts. Square your body to the bagging platform. This means keeping your shoulders straight in front of the bag to minimize twisting. Use two hands to bag heavy items. Don't bend, twist, or reach for items that are in a corner of the rear deck. Move your feet and turn your body before reaching. Don't reach over the counter to place bags into the customer's cart. Bags should be passed over to the customer. If the customer chooses not to accept the bag in this manner, the cashier should walk around to the opposite side of the checkout, pick up the bag using the proper lifting techniques, and place it in the shopping cart. Don't grab the filled bag from the top by holding it with a pinch grip. A pinch grip is one in which your thumb and forefinger are pinched together. This puts severe pressure on your hands and wrists. Instead, use the power grip in which you grab the bag from the bottom and lift it up with both hands. This is the safest and most comfortable procedure to use when lifting a full bag of groceries. Bob, what should a cashier do if he or she does feel pain? Joan, all of these factors will help you to avoid any hand or wrist injuries. However, if you do experience any pain or discomfort, these may be symptoms of repetitive strain. You should report these to your manager, who may recommend that you see a doctor. Well, thanks a lot, Bob, for joining us on HealthBeat and sharing your valuable insight. Back to you, Rosemary. Thanks, Joan. That was an informative report on the most recent developments in preventing cashier stress-related injuries. Join us next time on HealthBeat when we'll focus on another fast-breaking health issue. I'm Rosemary Hopkins for HealthBeat. Good day.